Good afternoon. This is Tina. How are you doing so far? Did you have a good lunch? Okay, anyway. Um, uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to config content negotiating view resolver. Oh, here have something wrong. I should using content nego negotiating view resolver, not your viewing resolver. Oh my god. I don't want to change in other videos. Okay, sorry for sorry guys, forgive me. It should be view resolver. Okay, uh, just to find out the mistake. Mm -hmm. Most of the Spring project nowadays we are using the Java classes to do the configurations. Probably in some Lexi application, or you still prefer to using the XML. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to using the XML to config like a JSON view and the XML view, okay? I create a new project. The new project is called the Content Negotiating View Resolver XML version. And uh, the, I remove the Java classes uh, configuration, Java configuration classes, and uh, have a product and uh, to controller and have a regular product module and here i already set up an application which has the internal resource view resolver for resolve gsps and uh, in the web.xml i have the dispatcher servlet okay to find our uh, spring mvc configuration which is a, a web application context okay and uh, in the POM, I already have the dependencies. This one is not needed for the XML version, but for Java config version, you have to have it here, okay? And I have a Spring MVC, Web MVC. Uh, this one is to convert, okay? Because we want to convert our Java object to a JSON format, right? So this dependency provides a data binding API, which you can convert a Pojo to JSON and a JSON to Pojo. And uh, this dependency is used to convert your Pojo, your Java object into a XML and also can convert XML to a Java object, okay? And uh, uh, since we are not using Spring Boot, so you have to add these two dependency manually by yourself. And uh, the other part I want to show you is how to config, okay? That's the main part for this uh, project. So, so far, if I, a little bit close, if I redeploy without doing anything, okay, I just redeploy this. And uh, when I type a, a slash or go to the home page, okay, this is our home page URL. This is my homepage URL, okay, it will show the index.gsp and if you go to list, it will also show index.gsp and if I type JSON, if I type XML, no changes, okay. And uh, the next step for the content negotiating view resolver, you just define beans, okay. So we define the first bean, uh, the class is the content negotiating view resolver okay and uh, do you remember when we do Java config we use something called a set default views and in the default views it ask a collection of the view right so here in XML you're using property called the default views in this property it ask for a collection okay the list okay in the list then you can use a reference, reference to different the uh, JSON view, XML version uh, view, or other like a PDF or Excel uh, view, okay? For each of the view, you just define a, another bin, right? Do you remember we have two ways? One is using annotation bin, define a mapping uh, Jackson to a JSON view. And the other one, we directly using the list.add, then you have what thing? New mapping Jackson to the XML view. So how to define a bin? You still using bin? Uh, this time you have to give ID. Suppose this one is a JSON view. And you have a class like uh, mapping to, uh, mapping Jackson to, Jackson to the JSON view. Okay. 
and then here also has some properties like if you want to have a print print you can have this one the value is uh, true okay and oh sorry and suppose you want to have a XML version uh, you just define another one called the XML view okay and the class is called uh, uh, what uh, mapping Jackson mapping Jackson to XML view this one and here also has the other properties. If you want to customize, you can customize attribute to say a map, bin name, all the things, okay. Uh, uh, next one, yes, since you have a tool, the JSON and XML view, you just add into this default views can be resolved by this, uh, uh, can be delegated uh, by this content negotiating view resolver, okay. So how do that? Using reference and you can use a bin and you can choose JSON and then you can choose XML, okay? Register here. Because the content negotiating view resolver itself doesn't resolve the JSON and XML. You have, it will delegate, okay? It will see, oh, do I uh, have a reference to the JSON? Do I have a view? Do I have a reference to the XML? If it has, it will delegate the actual task to the mapping Jackson to the JSON view and the mapping Jackson to the XML view, okay? So, after we do the configuration here, okay, then we will deploy. Mm. Deploy successfully. So now let's just go to the list. It will show the JSP page, right? And uh, if we go to the XML, it will display the XML, and uh, if we do the JSON, dot JSON, it will show the JSON view. Okay, so uh, this is how we configure for the, using the XML. You define the bin for the content negotiating and define the views for the JSON and the XML. And do remember to make sure you have uh, the two dependency uh, to convert Java objects to the JSON and XML. And for the XML, still have the same problem uh, when you're using Java config. If you watched my previous video, you have you already seen. XML, only one attribute allowed in the model, okay? For JSON view, doesn't matter. You can have as many as you want because you're going to turn into a kind of like a, a JavaScript object, right? So it is the key value pairs, okay? So that's it for the... XML version, XML based configuration for the content negotiating view resolver. And uh, thank you for watching. If you have any uh, comment, uh, if you have any question, you can leave a comment. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.